Okay, <coughs> this is a breeze actually pushed this bike over. It's so light. Hey, look, G's gauntlet sign number three. There it is up there. Anyway, let's talk about the uh, Epic the Specialized Epic Evo uh, size. Sorry, Epic Evo Comp specific size large. Um, 27, 27 and a half pounds, depending on whether you got your inner tube, GPS, whether you're running tubeless or not, what kind of tires you have on it. Um, 120 front travel, 110 rear. It's uh, equipped with SLX brakes, shifters, um, derailleur. This thing is still annoying me. Um, this bike comes with a slap guard. It also has, I'm going to switch sides here. It also has a protector, frame protector on the bottom. This, this armor stuff doesn't, I think it has a bit back here along this. Yeah, I can feel it. It's along this edge here. There's another piece of a uh, frame protector. There's a small piece on the back over here, but it doesn't transition back. And you can actually see some of the rubbing that I've got going on here. Um, it's all carbon, as you can see, handmade in Taiwan. Anyway, um, so far, well performed, well behaved. I find it uh, very easy to ride. It's very much feels very much like my uh, Lecter 69 hardtail. It handles all the bumps um, like I'd expect them to, yet it's not a couch and it's not harsh in the back end either. So it surprises me sometimes when I'm going over stuff. I can feel that little bit of assist I get when I do a compression to jump something. Um, but it also surprises me sometimes when I'm going over things like uh, little rollies, the back end pitches a bit. So I still got to work on that. Um, one of the things that I am still dealing with is the travel on this rear shock. I am at a 245 PSI. It looks like I'm still almost using like 95% of the travel. So I'm going to push it up a bit more, maybe 255 PSI. And I'm going, or oh, I'm going to end up having to put a token in. I think I've said that before. Um, aluminum handlebars. I cut these down by about an inch. Hey look, a strap, trail swag. Anyway, um, it's, these are SLX four pot brakes. I don't find them grabby or snatchy. They are soft and smooth all the way down when they start to hold. They're very much like my XT brakes. Caterpillar, I've got a Caterpillar. Um, I've put the Specialized 2.3s and a Maxxis. Uh, is that 2.3 or 2.4? Sorry, 2.35 on the front works like a dream. So that's that's what I've found so far. Um, I've got a front fender on here. Really, really close clearance. So if I pick up any pine cones or um, twigs, branches, leaves, mud, that just gets packed. So you're going to have to decide whether or not you want to ride with one of those. Uh, not much else I can say. Back is still filling up with crap when we ride, so I gotta clean that out after each ride. The uh, little toolkit locked in here, haven't lost it yet, and I don't ride with a water bottle, so this is perfect storage for my inner tube. Dropper post <coughs> is really good, performs well. The Fusion Manic, um, it's obviously the whatever the extension is for my uh, size. Um, I use the 105 method to get the length and then I sort of fine tune it because the saddle is a little bit different than the one that I ride, the physic that I ride with on the other bike and the one up dropper. Rock Shock Sid. Um, I like it. Uh, good choice as far as I'm concerned. So if you want an XC, why is there a caterpillar on my. It's caterpillar season up here. So here's this little guy who thinks that he's going to make off with my bike. Hey, hey, hey. Back to nature. Get, get, get off, get off my finger. Damn it. Anyway, so if you want an XC rated bike that can handle the trail, this is your bike. Um, if you can find one, good luck. Uh, otherwise, you know, put an order in, wait for one to show up, local bike shop. They probably appreciate the business. And as always, stress less, ride more, ride safe, ride smart. See you on the trails.